them first. We are here. Thank you very much. You want to get dressed first? Good morning, welcome to the vlog. I'm starting it from the car because <laughs> I figured I would just say hello before I go back inside the house because it'll be not chaos, but well, a degree of chaos. But when I go back inside the house, so I thought I would say hi now before I go in. It has been, well, it's a busy day to be honest. Already this morning, it's kind of like half past eight. I've just I went for a 5k and got all the kids ready and everything. They've had breakfast, just taken Stephen to school. This morning was kind of like my practice for tomorrow when it's the first day where we've all got to be out of the house properly ready for the day by quarter past eight. So I was kind of like practice running it this morning, see how long it takes me because I didn't have to take the kids with me this morning when I um, when I took Stephen to school, I could leave them with Lara, but I was just kind of practice running it. And it was all right. It was, wasn't too bad. I do think I've got to get up at about quarter to six if I want to get everything in that I want to do in the mornings before we leave. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. But anyway, it's uh, yeah, a bit of a busy day, I think. I've got quite a few things on. I've got um, a, a fostering support group. They're done via Zoom at the moment and I think that there's one either this morning or this evening and I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to join yet. Neither of them are particularly wonderful timings, they kind of interfere with other things but yeah I don't know which one I'm going to do. Then both children have got contact in various ways, one a video call, one an in-person contact. I've got to collect my shopping from, I did a click and collect yesterday, a weekly shop. Oh, one child's got a medical appointment. There's just like a lot of stuff going on today. I can hear some fun. Are you okay? One of the things I, I say want to, but I kind of need to get sorted today, kind of throughout the day, but I'm hoping to spend like a solid half an hour at least on them now, whilst the kids are happy playing, is my fostering daily diaries. Oh, I've gotten myself into like a bit of a like two week behind thing like I've been taking notes I just I don't know I just haven't found a way that really works for me <laughs> with this at all um I've taken notes on my phone of like important stuff that's happened and that I, I just need to like type it up now I don't know why I just don't like type it up at the end of each night like, sometimes I do I go through like a couple of weeks and I'm typing it up every night and it's really I'm really organized with it and then something happens and I just like slip behind a little bit so I'm gonna grab my phone sit with my notes and type up I'm gonna give myself like half an hour of like solid time. Kids are happy, solid time, just get on with it and do. I'm tired. I have eight minutes before this support group starts and I think I'm gonna join the morning one. I just think I'd rather just like get it done. The later one is like half past six and obviously the kids should be going to bed at seven and so it kind of just interferes with that. And I've got one kid asleep right now, one that I can kind of just play with as I'm on the support group. I'm loving Zoom support groups. I absolutely love them. Rather than having to like to drive 20 minutes to get to the support group, sit there for two hours, drive 20 minutes back, it's like an hour just here. It's, I love it. Like there's nothing like seeing people in person and I do think it's nice to see people in person. But I think if we could like do some in person and some via Zoom moving forward, I would absolutely love that. But anyway, I want to try and get this, I'm about like three days away, I can try and like whack out these last three days, get it all done, and then I am daily diaried, up to date, and I can jump on this support call, but I'm in a rush to get this done. I've just come on to um, join the support group. It starts at half past ten, not ten, so that's good news that I can get my diaries finished, but I think probably I can't really join this half ten one, because I've got, oh, that's a pain. Okay, I'm pretty sure that they've changed the timings of these from when they initially sent out the information because I've just gone to have a look at the evening one and the evening one is at seven o'clock. I'm sure it was like 10 o'clock and half past six. They've switched them. I'm sure they've switched them. But that makes that's fine because I can put the kids to bed at seven and join. <laughs> He's gone. Should we feed him? <laughs> Should we go feed him? Oh, he was hungry. That's a lot of spinach. 
I'm just getting my um well kind of breakfast slash lunch it's leftover pineapple fried rice <laughs> from last night I dropped a bit of spinach Did you want it <laughs> you'd eat it if it was biscuit like that wouldn't you We've just done a video call, video contact call with one of the kids and we're going to have a bit of an early lunch, not super early but just a little bit early because we've got another commitment just, well what would normally be lunchtime so we're going to have to like push everything forward a little bit. Do you remember lockdown days? I, want, I don't want to say how wonderful like oh, lockdown days but they were kind of just nice that whole do what you want when you want it, like you don't have to um, just wary of a child walking in my background hang on it's much easier if i can get them not to be in shots i don't have to in editing have to blur them all out um i forgot what i was saying yeah lockdown when you could just do whatever you wanted whenever you wanted and you didn't have to be anywhere for a certain time and i just kind of just quite like that life to be honest um but i mean obviously it's good that we're not in lockdown anymore but I need to go on, go and get them some lunch. I think they're probably just going to have leftover that rice that I had, that like pineapple fried rice. I've got a little bit of leftover for tea. I quite like making. I'm just watching. The other fireplace is going to get destroyed. We want to grab the coals. Nope, they've changed their mind. Uh, yeah, making like extra for extra portions of tea, and then either like me. And me and the kids or the kids or whoever can have it for lunch the next day it makes life just so much easier so i'm gonna go and heat them up some pineapple fried rice and have a yogurt and whatever just before the contact call i managed to finish off all daily diaries are completely up to date emailed off to social worker and i sent in my july and august expenses which obviously isn't very much because we haven't really been going anywhere but i sent in my expenses so i am on the ball with paperwork and everything i feel quite quite good about it all should we go get lunch i've created this new little spot in the kitchen where the kids eat at because they eat they don't eat at the same time like they eat their tea at like half past four it's not the same time that we are tea and so it never really sort of worked what i was trying to do so i got this little table it's not just an ikea one i got it on ebay actually and they sit here and have their meals it's quite good where are the bits are they in here yeah they are Ready? Mm -hmm. Bit of a squash and a squeeze, isn't it? A squash and a squeeze, I like that. Breathe in. Ooh, it's hot. Do you see all that steam? We're going to have to blow it. Ooh. Because I'm going to shop in a little while, I'm going to... A bit of a sort through and clean off the fridge. There's not much in there, but it's all with a bit of a wipe. Other than some spinach. A completely empty fridge. Clean, empty, ready to be refilled with the shop. Other than the door, obviously, that's got a load of sauces and milk and stuff in. The aftermath of children who are learning to eat. Lovely. And now it's time to get ready to go to another contact. So all go, go, go. Nice day. It's nice and warm. I've dropped off one child and it's just me and the other one. And we're just kind of, I was thinking we might go. It's always difficult to try and like think what to do to fill that time with depending on how long it is. It's like, what do you do if you've like if I've not got any children? I absolutely love it. Like go for a run, sit in the car and do some editing or whatever. Invariably, I've got another child with me. So I think our plan is we're gonna have a little wander. I think I'm pretty sure there's like a little play area somewhere near here. Because it's been so long since I've been coming to the contact centre, I kind of forgotten. And I never really knew my way around very much anyway. But uh I'm gonna have a little wander and see if I can find. A little play area that we can just fill a bit of time with. If not, we'll probably just walk <laughs> for the time. Well, we didn't 
to find a play area, but we did have a lovely walk in the sun. It's absolutely boiling and so warm. It's like just ridiculous. Now I've got all the kids back. We are going to collect our shopping. Do you want to go and get the food and take it home? Yeah, and we put it away in the fridge and then we'll cook it for our tea. Nom, nom, nom. Look at that. There's horses. shopping in, put the freezer stuff in the freezer and then back out for this medical appointment. It's a busy one today, here, there and everywhere. That journey was not kind to someone who's running slightly late, well actually I'm one minute before the appointment time but yeah it was a uh, traffic lights were all on bed, it was a bloody nightmare. Uh, right, I need to find my mask. Well, that was kind of a waste of time. Didn't work. I know it's very warm, isn't it? Should we open our windows? No, they didn't have us down for an appointment. So, what a waste. <sighs> We've got to come back next week. But, like, they sorted loads of stuff out. It wasn't a complete waste because, like, they did sort some stuff out for me. But, oh, what a pain. It's a lovely setting. This doctor's just right on the. Uh, Right on the canal. Beautiful. It's a shame I can't have like a nice little canal walk in the sun. I've got to get back. You right, Stephen? I am nothing. Are you coming downstairs? Are you coming downstairs? Okay, yeah. see you in a sec. It's pretty warm outside, isn't it? <laughs> Wrong day to take your coat, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to relax for I think the first time today. Just chill out for half an hour or so. Yeah. This one. The heaters tonight, I need to get cooking. Because we've got into the whole bread making thing, we've both bought our flour and I needed a huge, I don't think this is as big as I thought it was actually, but I needed a big container to kind of house it so I can get it away from the kitchen floor. And oh, it's not too bad, I mean it's not, they're like 16 kilogram bags, so I was never going to find anything that would fill that. You want some of this? Can we go pop, pop, pop? Whoa. Oh, it's not bad. I'm gonna sort of scoop it up, like half and half it, so it's got, it's like a mix of wholemeal and then um, white flour in here for bread making. Oh, I really like it actually. I've only got it off Amazon. I'll link it in case anyone's interested. before contact, like after lunch, but then it just didn't time. Yeah. It, there was no time. Um, how would you call it? Oh, I didn't, I haven't done it because it was at half past 10. They changed the times, it was at half past 10. And seven o'clock, rather than 10. Yeah. And half past six. I'm gonna do the seven o'clock one. Right. <laughs> I've only moved them half an hour later. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. You know we have to. Mm -hmm. 
you don't want some oh, have some Ooh. It must be cold by the time you get round to it. Yeah. Mm, there we go. <laughs> <laughs>